so in previous video we did uh, till this much uh, where we build this uh, web page uh, using only css and html okay uh, so we didn't use any libraries and uh, we will continue from here uh, so there is another tag we can use which is section okay so it's uh, you can use this and how you use comments in html you use it in this way okay uh, this is let's say this is product catalog okay and inside this you can have div and within this we can have three images uh, let's say uh any image let's just copy uh let's say laptop or let's say book you can search in google rather So this is uh, one image, style, width equals let's say 300 pixel, height equals 300, 300 pixel and we can just uh, copy this two more times for now and let's see what happens so we have three images okay so we can bring it to center uh, using the center tag and this is in center okay so here we will give some other image let's say let's say apple watch let's say apple iphone and let's use this one and uh mac so we can use uh, this This one looks good. So copy image and uh, put the image URL over here. And you have three products. Okay. So you can add some more styling to this. Uh, so let's give it an idea of let's say product catalog okay i will show you class okay so class dot product catalog and then div sorry image margin let's say 20 pixel and you see those are separated now okay so these are the products and what we can do is product catalog image scale and we can give 1.2 so on hover So there is scale function, scale transform, 
transform scale something like this uh, so you see this will uh, give a bit uh, pop up kind of thing you can have cursor pointer and you can have this effect okay and how will you provide links uh, so what you can do you can give ahref equals for now we are giving hash over here since we are we do not have a link but uh, if you have a link you can provide it uh, over there and same thing in the last one I'll remove this one so this uh, if you click this you will see hash over here because we haven't provided any link if you provide uh, a link it will uh, redirect to that page okay so there are three products in our product catalog now let's uh, give a footer so footer in footer what we can do is uh, we can give uh, footer height and uh, so let's give it here so footer height let's say 300 pixel width will be 100 percent and we will give color so basically from our color palette let us select this color itself uh, for footer background color and we can give it like this so here is the footer now in footer uh, we uh, we can write something so inside the footer again we can have ul and list and inside this we can have let's say uh, phone let's give it like this so this will bold so phone number and we can give it like one two three four five six seven eight something like this we can again copy this email address and we can give abc at the red gmail dot com okay so we can uh, now we have to give an id okay id foot nav because it's overriding you see the it, that is gotten override ridden by the other one so foot nav li list uh, so what is happening is earlier we gave this so it's taking that okay so rather what we can do is we can also give an id to the upper one so we have this url so this let's give an id nav bar so rather than this we are giving nav bar nav bar and let's see this should work so now you see there this is not getting overridden okay so now foot nav we are giving and somewhere also it is getting overridden let me see uh, okay so give it a padding of let's say 10 pixels and color of white 
and uh, we can give border bottom one pixel solid white okay and we can give foot nav width will be 300 pixels only okay so and we can give a margin of let's say 30 pixels and we will give list style none okay so and we can give a margin top also margin top let's say 50 pixels that will bring it up or padding top padding top. okay and we can have a bit of uh, like this over here so before the footer we can have a div of let's say id foot ab just uh, we can have a little so hash foot ab width will be 100% and height will be let's say 10 pixels and background color background color will be a bit deep color so let's just see uh, this will do or let's say this one will do so this and uh, there is a margin I have to remove that so I have to remove this margin and now you see this looks like a, a decent website okay so you can add some more things like a padding of 20 30 pixels okay and uh, also I will show you uh, in the next video how we can add uh, some line icons uh, how we can uh, do some more stuff with it okay so hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching so see you in the next video